Asinuk X. Guys, if you have not heard of this tool, you don't know what you're missing. Asinuk X is a monster at creating backlinks. Let me show you just what you can create. You can create social network backlinks, article directory marketing, article directory backlinks, video backlinks, social bookmarking backlinks, RSS, um, that's going to also give it give you backlinks, form profile backlinks, web tool profile backlinks, press release backlinks, and it does it all automatically. That is the other thing that you need to understand about SNOOC X. It is an automatic program. As long as you have it set up, it has a scheduler that knows what to do, what goes next. And let me show you how I use it. Once you have your article, you're going to go to once you have spun your article, you're going to go to the wizard, okay? And it's going to go to this page. And let me just show you. I already created one, so I can walk you through it. Okay. This is what the wizard is going to look like. And this is the easiest way to get SNUKX set up. When you get SNUKX, make sure that you watch the tutorials. It is going to take you probably like an hour, but it's so worth it. You have no idea how worth it it is. Now, there are two... I use SNUKX for a Step 5 and Step 6. I use it for repurposing and syndicating, and also I use it for creative maximum amount of backlinks. Now, on the first step, on repurposing and syndicating, I'm going to show you how to do it, okay? You're going to go to the wizard, and this is the page that you're going to get. On the campaign name, you're going to put anything for your reference that you're going to remember what it is. On the profiles, you can set three, but it's not necessary. You can set it to one, and that is fine. On your money site, you're going to get the URL from your main page, which would be this one here, right? And that is the URL. So I'm going to copy that. I'm going to take it to SNUCAX, and I'm going to put it on the first required URL. The second URL, if you have an MLSP account, I highly suggest that you use that link of your landing page right there. If you have a third landing page that you want to target, you can put it on there. Now, what we're going to do is enter the keywords that we're going to rank for. The keywords, the first keyword obviously is going to be the keyword that we're ranking for, and that is Facebook Marketing Strategies. The second and third keywords are going to be the keywords that are more relevant in, the, in Google's eyes. And for that we go to Google Tool, I mean to Keyword Tool, to Google Tool. And we're going to put Facebook Marketing Strategies And as long as it's sorted by relevance, you're going to get the most relevant keywords to Facebook Marketing Strategies. And I'm going to choose the first two, which is Facebook Marketing and Facebook Marketing Strategies Singular. So those are the keywords that I'm going to enter right here. Then I go next. And I'm going to go to the Common Settings Project 8. Um, on tags, what you're going to do is you're going to enter six. You see, these are already going to be here, audio populated for the basic info. So those are the keywords. The tags are the keywords. You're going to enter three more keywords, and those are going to come from Google Keyword. So you're going to grab the three next keywords, and it's going to be using Facebook Marketing, Facebook Marketing Ideas, and Facebook Marketing Plan. And I already put it as ideas and using Facebook for marketing. The subdomain you're going to leave alone, don't change that. The title, instead of adding Facebook marketing, leaving the same title because you don't want to create competition for your own page. So you're going to change it to something that is similar. So what I added was social media marketing strategies. And put something else maybe the US blueprint or something, it doesn't matter, just put a title that is appealing to people. The number of links per article, please, usually I think it's a default at three, change it to one, that is very important. On the user profile, SNOKX has a, a lot of auto-generate buttons and use them because that is going to give you default values, <coughs> plus it is going to help you to do it a lot quicker and usually 
it's going to be more effective than if you do it yourself manually. So click Auto Generate and then put in the company name. Put anything that you want to put. If you put the name of your company, but if you don't have a company, be sure to put something in here. Otherwise, it's not going to let you through. On the category, you're going to put the category that you think is more relevant for your content. In my case, it could be social media marketing. And you're going to auto select categories. And then make sure they have that option checked where it says if no matching category found, select the random category and go next. On um, part B, this leave alone guys, don't change that. Now on the left, you're gonna have you have two sections here. On the left is gonna be the resource box for articles. On the right is gonna be the about me section for web tool profiles and forum profiles. On the left, because this is for for article directories, you can add two links. And the links you're actually not gonna enter, but you're gonna enter this tag right here, which is number sign links number sign. So what I'm gonna put here is watch watch how these two guys go through these and the link tag is gonna tell SNUKX to grab one of these URLs with one of these anchor tags and place them instead of the links tag. So how it's gonna read is watch how these two guys go through these Facebook marketing strategies and create a Facebook empire. Also, do not forget to visit my site, Facebook Writing Strategies. Okay? So make sure that you put that you add two links on the author bio of the article directory. And remember guys the author bio on article directories doesn't have to be your bio. It has to be a call to action saying click here to get this. Okay? Or make sure that you go here or visit my site. It has to be a call to action. Do not enter your bio. On the about me section on web 2 on profiles, what you are going to enter is something about myself. And what I put in is, and it also needs to have a call to action. Even though it doesn't have a link, make sure that you put something that is going to say visit somewhere else so that if they, if, they, if the call to action is not there, for sure they're not going to go visit it. But if it is there, there is a chance that they will. So I put, thank you for visiting my profile. I hope they find my content useful. I have been on internet marketing for about two years and it has been an awesome ride. Here I share every single piece of knowledge that I have acquired. Please visit my site for more tips. And that is, that's it. If you want, you can also spin them. By the way, um, if you see here, there it says click here to open the spinning options. If you already have the, the best spinner, you can just click here and use the API key that they give you. And it, SNUKX actually works with the best spinner. But they also offer a free option in case you do not have the best spinner. So just go next. On the project linking, what you're going to find is on the left, you have projects. On the middle, you're going to have a screen which is, this is already set up to what I wanted it to be set up, but I'm going to show you how to do it. But it's usually just going to be with your money site in there, okay? On the right, you're going to see the site count for the different projects. For example, if you go to the video project, there are 38 links that you can create, okay? On Which means that your content or your video that you're going to tell SNOX, SNOX to syndicate is going to go to 38 video directories. Press releases. That means that the press release that you're going to set up on SNOX is going to be syndicated to 32 links. I mean to 32 press release sites. Social network is going to get syndicated to 39 social networks and article directories. They have 81 article directories. Okay. This is how I set it up. On the left, I have all the projects, and really, you just this is how you do it. You drag and drop them, okay? And then you're gonna link them. How you link them is let me just put an example here. I'll put a press release. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the quick link. I'm gonna click on it. I'm gonna click back to my money site, and that's how you get the gray links. The red links are chain links, and what it means is 
that it's gonna get the grade done first and then after that is done it's gonna start creating the second linking and this is something that I just designed guys just remember I'm gonna give you the access to this it's not gonna be on the bottom you can actually download this scheme if that is what you want to do and let me show you what I'm gonna do that is my money site right what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my content my spun article I'm gonna put it on a press release format and I'm gonna tell Sinukex to syndicate it to 32 places with a link back to my money site then I'm gonna create a little video actually I'm gonna grab the video that we embedded in our website and I'm gonna put it right here and I'm gonna tell Sinukex to syndicate it to 32 pages and send back the link to my money site so right there in between these two I already have 70 links then I'm gonna tell let to go to article directories right and to syndicate my content to 81 places and 80, 70 is 150 links I already have 150 links just by doing that and in social networks now what I'm gonna tell is to go and syndicate my content and put it in 39 social networks and there's 30 more, 39 more links, almost 40 more links, and I'm at almost 200 links. This is how I do it, guys. Every day, I come in and I set up and I launch this daily strategy. What do you say after, though? Let's say the press release has an index project, and what this is going to do is, SNOCX automatically is going to grab the URLs of the press releases that I just launch. So let's say that I put, you know, it sent it to 32 press releases and that immediately five of them got accepted. So what Instinct Gex is going to do is going to grab those that list of URLs and it's going to put it in the indexer project. The indexer project is, it tells Instinct Gex to put those links in high rank pages that they own so that is definitely a free service that they offer so that this press releases get indexed quicker and therefore that link that is in that press release goes to your money site and you get credit for it also quicker the same thing goes with videos with article directories and with social networks the profiles on the daily basis I do not use forum profiles or web tool profiles even though if you look it has 429 links that are going to get created 